Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a trying new makeup. Get ready with me for my birthday. So I did this look in my March favorites. I was playing around with what I wanted to wear out for my birthday and so many of you wanted to see a video on it and I was using a bunch of new makeup just playing around. And that's the look I came up with for my birthday. So this is birthday makeup. I do have new products to try in this video. It's not a full face as I'm incorporating my favorites as well because those are the products I wanna wear for my birthday, make sure I have a good base down. So I am very excited to do this video. I'm so glad you guys requested it because I really loved how it turned out as well. So we're gonna start off with a new product. This is the NARS Orgasm Rising. I did a tutorial with this over on my TikTok already so i have tried it out previous and then obviously i did it for that look in my march favorite so we're going to start off with this shade right here i also have some new brushes to test out in this video these are the lh cosmetics this is linda hallberg's brand she is a makeup artist she has incredible makeup looks and they sent over a bunch of products to test out so over the course of my videos i'll probably be testing out a bunch of what they sent over but we're gonna start with these brushes, I do need a different brush for my crease, so we will be starting off with the BK Beauty brush. I will have all of them linked on the screen for you guys and in the order that I talk about them in the description box. So I've been doing that lately. I'm glad you guys like it. I feel like it's easy to follow them and then you can kind of see, do I need to purchase a new brush? Do I have something like this in my collection that matches this brush? I just feel like it's very helpful. So. Starting off with that brown shade, I'm just gonna put it in the crease. I love the color story of this palette. It kind of reminds me of the Wanted palette, I think it's called, just a smaller version. I loved that palette from NARS, so I do really like the color story they have in this. I'm just gradually building up the color, and since this is a birthday makeup, I wanted to make it more glam. I am building it up more than I would for just a daytime look like going out for dinner, drinks, whatever you're doing, kind of what I wanted to do. Then taking a little bit of the shade here just to soften up the edges. Taking the LH Cosmetics 303 brush, I'm going to use this shade for all over my eye. It's a beautiful brown tone with gold glitter in it. I wanted to try a brush to see how that would work on the eye, but I feel like a finger just builds it up faster. So I'm gonna go ahead Use my finger, place it on the eye. And then for some added depth, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade in the outer corner. And then back in with that blending brush just to soften the edges. This next shade makes the look. It takes it from pretty to just glam standout. And I love this mixture with that brown. I was trying it out with this brown as well. That's why I had it in the outer corner, but Using this as a topper just makes the look and you can put this on top of other shades and it's super pretty as well. But it's this shade right here, right here. We're just going to use our finger, put that on the lid and it's really going to make it pop. You can see just putting that on the lid gives it that gold color and really makes it stand out but we still have that base of the brown so it's not as light as it would have been if I just put that shade down. So I really like how it looks with the brown underneath. How pretty is that look? It could be bridal, summertime bronze look, whatever. I haven't done a bronze eye, it feels like in forever. I really wanted to do that for my birthday this year. And then for the look, I also just did a little bit of a liner and I used an angle brush. This is the 333 from LH Cosmetics. This has a really pretty red purple-ish undertone to it. So I feel like it makes a really nice liner. I wanted to stick in the brown family just to keep this nice and soft because black can often look a little too harsh. And you're gonna definitely wanna do your eyes first doing this because I have a lot of glitter from that sparkle shade that we used as a topper. Color is super subtle. It just kind of ties in the ends so that I can cut it off and not worry about blending that out so much. It just makes it a lot easier, but we're gonna go ahead, clean up the under eye. I'm also going to throw on a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using a new mascara. It is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. I love this. The e.l.f. Lash and Roll is so convenient because I actually don't have to <laughs> curl my lashes with this because it really does lift and curl. It's one of the claims 
and truly for mine I feel like it does a better job than I even do when curling my lashes not going to overload them because I will be applying the falsies these are the lashes I keep reusing because I had one pair of martini lashes from the BK Beauty and Risa does makeup and I stack them on top of one of the day club lashes these are custom made by me just stacking two lashes together so it was a corner lash on top of the day club and I'm just going to reuse these I'm going to wear these on my actual birthday as well so we got to take good care of these you'll see with these it just adds more drama to the outer corner so so pretty those are the lashes on as you can see super fluttery and fluffy they're very dramatic and they have that extra drama in the outer corner, which I feel like really makes the look for me. We do still have more work on the lower lashes, but we will be moving on to the complexion. And I do have something new to test out. This is from Glossier. It is their Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. Looks like this. I got this as a deluxe sample for free. It's half the size of the full size. And they were just giving these out at Sephora. <laughs> for a code you had to put in. I never purchased anything without a code. Tips for Sephora shopping. I have this to test out. I thought this would look like the bottle for some reason, but it actually is this peachy pink color. It's nice. Oh yeah. I thought this would be a little bit thinner, but it's a really great consistency hybrid in between. It's not too oily and it has some lotion property to it. It's kind of a in between of that. It's really, really nice. Oh yeah, and it has a beautiful glow to it. From my limited experience with Glossier, this is probably my favorite thing I've tried from them so far. That's including the fragrance. Like so far, this lasts underneath my makeup. I really like how this went on. For my pores, because I do have to do something about that, I am using my Glowish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam. This is still my favorite primer. <laughs> I've tried other ones. I really do love this. I'm running low. I'm holding off for the sale though. So we cannot use this up before April 14th when the Sephora sale starts. I love this. So this is only for special occasions right now until I can get it back up. And it works perfectly well with that oil. Sometimes it can be a little bit dicey. Primers mixed together. This one is completely fine I like this combination <laughs> then for that look I was using hourglass products and I was using the ambient soft glow foundation plus their concealer I'm not sure if I've used the concealer or at least not much on my channel and it's one of my favorite concealers I only bought the mini when I initially picked it up but it's so full coverage I know the vanish airbrush concealer is one of those hit or miss products with people. There's people who absolutely hate it. It looks super dry. It just doesn't work with their skin. And then for me, literally only a dot of this. It is so, so full coverage, but I feel like it just works on my skin. It's one of those ones that I know I can rely on. And this mini is gonna last me forever because seriously, out of any concealer I've tried, you need the least amount of that one. That's how much coverage it gives. So this is really great coverage perfecting on the skin and those who are saying bridal makeup I feel like the foundation really is one of those ones that I would personally reach for in my collection for bridal makeup it wears well it looks incredible on texture and pores so I feel like a lot of people would really enjoy it for the perfecting and on your wedding day you just want to look as flawless as possible this is airbrush. It claims that it is flawless. This color is a little light for me as I self tan last night, as you can see, but we're going to be contouring and it will all come together. So I am going to move on to contour now before I do concealer. I've been doing that lately and really liking how it turns out. I'm gonna use the same brush I was using for my foundation just because I love the 109 for anything cream related. I have my LYS cream bronzer and contour stick in Harmony. This is my perfect color, my perfect shade. I love this. I got back into using this recently and I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and then just start contour bronzing the face. I love the color of this for my complexion. It chisels out my face nicely without turning purple or any of those other kind of colors that I don't want tonally on my face. Super pigmented. And then taking the LH Cosmetics 305 just a little bit of that contour on the brush. I'm going to run it down my nose. Before I blend it in all the way to help with the contour, just taking my Hourglass Concealer, 
gonna use this to highlight and for concealer underneath the eyes. Then for powder, I have a couple new things to test out. I'm going to use the LH Cosmetics Puff and I'm also going to be using the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. I've tried this, I think three times already. I don't like this as much as other people and I know that's not a popular opinion. Everyone loves this. I have shade four to test out, which is darker than others that I've tried in the past. I tried the pink one, the translucent one, and now number four, which is deeper than what I've tried previous. So we're going to test this out today. I just feel like it's a little dry on me. So I'm mixing all the colors together. My favorite powder for all over the face, I'd reach for the Huda still. But I did wanna try some new products in this video. Just taking a little bit of this under the eye. Also going to bake the side of the nose. With this powder, I almost prefer how it looks without powder, which is very odd for me because I always prefer with powder. I don't understand it why I don't like this as much as everyone else does. Why does it look dry on me? I like that this brush set included a puff. I use these all the time. And I'm just using this brush, it's a 310, just to dust everything away. I'm just gonna use this for blush maybe, we'll see. That's the only thing I can say about it. It just looks slightly dry on me. I'm not sure why, obviously it's powder, but I don't have that issue with other powders. But I wanted to test this out on camera and give my opinion. I know a bunch of people were asking me how I like that and I've used it over the years. This is my third time trying it, a different color. All the colors, I just have the same opinion of it being a little too dry for my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Huda Beauty powder and I'm going to press this all over the rest of my face. Now that I've powdered the rest of my face with my Huda, I think my under eye has a nice amount of brightness for this look. I don't mind it, still slightly dry. I feel like with a little bit of setting spray, maybe this is going to turn out good. So I'm gonna keep testing it out, I'm not giving up on it now, because I know so many people like it. For bronzer, I haven't used this on my channel for a bit. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden. This is another bronze shade in the Mineralized Skin Finish, like Give Me Sun, that I use often. So I really like dark golden. It's not as warm as Give Me Sun, even though it has the word golden in it, I feel like it pulls more neutral bronze than super, super warm. And it's nice and buildable. And I like doing this over top of cream contour just because I don't need that much more sculpt and bronze to the face, but I do want to lightly set and just bring that dimension back in. For blush, I have a new one to try from Nude Sticks. They do have the Sunkiss blush. They came out with different varieties of it, and this is the pink version, which really captivated my interest. So I wanted to test this out. It does have a brush on the other end. I never use those brushes. I just don't wanna worry about cleaning them inside the package, so that's why I don't. And I'm just going to, again, take my 109. I use this for everything. <laughs> and I'm going to take a little bit of the blush, you can see how nice and pink that is. And these tend to work over top of a set face and it is doing that. I'm just going to blend this in to my contour and bronze. I love that color. We're just going to quickly finish off the under eye before I do move on to highlight because I use my highlight in the inner corner as well. I'm just gonna take the brown we used in the crease I'm going to put that on the lower lash line just with that angled brush we are using from LH Cosmetics. And then I'm just using this angled brush to stamp it underneath my lash line. Then for my waterline, I'm using my new YSL Crush Liner in brown. I don't know whether I love or hate this. <laughs> I haven't decided and I've used it so many times. I love the color of it, but I don't think it's waterproof and the wear isn't there, which is kind of a deal breaker, but I love how easy it goes on the eye and the color. So I don't know. I just wish it would stay longer. It's not horrible. I just was envisioning waterproof to be all day and it's definitely not an all day wear for me. The tone of brown is just so perfect and it does something for my eye color. So that's where I love it, I guess. <laughs> then a little bit of my Rimmel Lash Accelerator to complete the lower lashes. Then for highlight, I did mix two cause I wanted to be more gold than what I had, but I like the formula of the other one too. So yeah, I just mixed a bunch. I also used this blush on my cheeks in that video in case you want to just get this palette instead of all that extra stuff. 
I use this a lot. This is from Sephora Collection. I rave about this. I do have the darker one. I still use this one more. The darker one would be more suitable for those with deeper skin. This one just works for me better. And it's the one in Enchant. So I'm going to use the highlight and the 306. I wanted to tie in the gold tones of this look. I skip highlighter a lot, but I feel with a bronze makeup look, you have to use highlight. I would use my finger for this, but I don't want to poke out my eye. It's just so much easier, but I'm going to take the Rare Beauty highlight in Enlighten. And this was my inner corner. It's so pretty. You can mix in some of that more gold shade too, if you don't want it to be as bright. But I love the bright inner corner. And then for the lips, this was totally inspired by someone I saw on TikTok. She used the majority of this lip combo. However, I switched up the lip liner to something that I felt would be better suited for it for me and just my preferences. And this is actually new. It is from Too Faced. It's the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper and this is in the shade In Big Truffle. I'm obsessed with this color and this isn't for the faint of heart. If you do not like plumping, burning, spicy lip products on your lips, can open this. <laughs> You're not going to like this. This feels like the glosses, but in a lip pencil formula. I was shocked at how spicy this gets and it's just a lip liner. So you do have to click the bottom to get the product up, which is kind of nice because I don't have to sharpen it, but it is a more thick style. It's harder to get those precise lines. Super creamy too. This color to me though is perfection. This doesn't kick in right away for me. It takes a couple minutes for me to start feeling it. Even though it's not as sharp as it could be, I just kind of tilt it on the side and I don't personally have an issue getting the lines. I can see why some people are probably not going to like it just for that reason, plus the spiciness of it. It's a click up, but I really like it. So give it a try if you like the color, not scared of a plump and you want some plumping because this lip look it's all about plumping. So for the lip color, I'm using this from Rare Beauty and this I saw someone on TikTok obviously do. It is one of the blushes and this is a matte formula. This works beautifully on the lips. You could do a monochromatic look by using this as your blush, this on your lips. I'm just using it on my lips and this is just the perfect nude pink color. A little bit of peach in it too. It's like a powder matte lipstick. And there goes the lip liner. That's the best way I can describe it. So after I put on a thin layer of that blush, just gonna go back with my liner and make sure everything is nice and crisp. I like making sure I have a little bit of dimension still showing. And then for the gloss, another plumping product. And this is the Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss in the shade Fussy Heat. I haven't been getting a lot of use out of this until I saw that lip and I'm like, what is she wearing? I need that gloss and I already had it. So I really do like the heat formula. This is spicy as well. So we are already there. Why not put more on, right? People said this was a bridal look. I wouldn't do spicy for bridal, but the color is perfect. If you like this sort of tone for bridal, just Use this with a different gloss and not the lip liner because if you're going in for a kiss or anything like that, you don't want to start activating the plumping on whoever you're kissing, right? I guess it would be a day that they would never forget though, so maybe you want to. <laughs> These products to me just scream perfection. I love the combos of this. To complete the look, I am going to be using my favorite setting spray, Charlotte Tilbury. You already know. We're gonna spray this on, wait for it to dry. I'm gonna pop off camera, come back, and I will finish off this video. I'm back, here is the completed look. Love how it turned out, obviously, because I really wanted to recreate it. I'm so happy you guys wanted to see it. <laughs> so this is my official birthday makeup for my 37th year. My birthday is on March 31st, in case you didn't know. So this is probably going up on Sunday, so it has passed, but this weekend that you have watched this, I would have celebrated it, but I haven't yet, so it's just weird. Filming is weird, editing is weird. <laughs> Let's go over these products that I use to create this look. My lips are still burning, and it's that Too Faced. It's more so than even the Fenty. I just want people to feel <laughs> how a lip liner can feel like this, because I've tried the Buxom plumping lip liners, and they're nothing like this. This is something else, that's all I'm gonna say. So anyways, I do really like this but you have to like that burning sensation or be able to at least bear it. To use this, the color is so pretty and this whole lip combo, not mine, but I've copied from someone else is just 
really nice. If I can find the name, I will have it linked, but honestly, it was just in passing I saw it, so I'm, unfortunately, I don't know who it was. It's nice and long wearing too. The blush just stays on my lips and it gives that powder soft finish, which I really like. Topped with another plumping gloss, you're getting juicy lips with this lip combo, which I just fell in love with the color. So that is the lip combo. In case you want to check that out, recommend all those products. Then moving on to complexion, the Givenchy powder, I'm going to still test out. I always gave this away after a couple uses because I just didn't care for it every time that I've tried it. I'm going to try it a little bit more just so I can give my full thoughts on it. I wanna see why people love this so much, so let me know your opinion of this in the comments section below. For me, with something so hyped up, I usually can see the hype. This one has just been hard for me to see, and I've used it for years, so I will test it more this time, I promise. I love that Nude Sticks took Sunkiss, which is a popular color, and made different versions of it. This pink one is so pretty, Kind of reminds me of the Rare Beauty Happy. So I really love how bright and vibrant it is. I love that this can go over top of a set face. This is just a very good blush formula if you're looking for one. The Glossier Future Dew. I wasn't sure about this when I initially picked it up. I just kind of threw it in my cart with the coupon. I am so glad I did. This is really, really nice. I feel like it plays nicely with makeup. I feel like my makeup looks just as good as when I use my MAC Silk Canvas that I'm loving over top. It kind of has that same sort of super silky consistency mixture between a moisturizer and an oil. I just really love the consistency of this. So I can see why people like this. I've been really liking this. So as long as my makeup holds up nicely on top of this product, it's gonna be a hit for me. I already said how much I love this e.l.f. lash and roll in other videos. I just like it because I don't have to curl my lashes. <laughs> it saves me a step and just before putting on lashes, it was just a nice mascara to use and I have been using this on a daily for my just regular everyday sort of makeup. It's a really great one to check out. Hourglass products, I've used these and commented on them before. Flawless base if you're looking for something pore perfecting, smoothing, sits on mature skin quite nicely. And the concealer is just the only thing that I would recommend testing out first because this one is hit and miss. I feel like most people like this foundation, but the concealer is one of those ones that it's like, it's either too heavy, too dry. But for me, a little goes a very long way and I just love how the under eyes look. So that is a hit for me. And then the LYS Contour, if you can get your hands on this when it's back in stock, you must. This color is perfection for those with medium olive undertones. You're gonna love this if you've been looking for one. It doesn't pull purple, gray, anything that I don't want. It's just a perfect shade to contour the skin. The e.l.f. Orgasm Rising Palette, I've used this several times already. Really good formulations. I love NARS eyeshadow. I'm a huge fan of them. They always work for me. They blend, they have pigment. I love the variety of finishes in here. I love the color story. This is a hit for me. I really like it. If you like the look here, I would definitely recommend picking this up, but it's not revolutionary by any means. I'm sure you have similar colors in other palettes, but if you want an all-in-one, I love the tones of this. And then the last thing that was new that I tested out were the brushes from LH Cosmetics. All of them worked really nicely. I just didn't test out two of them, but I don't often use liner brushes like that, but we will continue to test these out. The puff works just like my Amazon ones I have. I love that it's triangular shape, so you can really get in there. Very simple brushes, but they all served a purpose. I love the variety that was included in this set because you get some face brushes, some eye, and it's all ones that I use often. It's called the Infinity Toolbox, in case you're curious. So great face and eye plus a puff. I think it's a really nice set. So that is gonna be it for my trying new makeup for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wasn't a full face of trying new. I did have some older products to include, but I mean, when it's your birthday, you want to make sure that you look your best, or at least I do. So I wanted to make sure I had my base down and I knew these products were gonna work for me. And I'm so happy you guys requested me filming it because it just means it's the look for me for my birthday. It won because you like it. So that's why it wins for my birthday look. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If you've not already, I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and we'll see you guys in my next one.